So in this video, we are going to see how to find the frequencies of different radio devices and uh, uh, we will see uh, different radio devices like uh, wireless switch, uh, wireless doorbell and even our car key as well and we will try to find the frequency of these devices. So let's just start and let me go in looking glass app. So uh, looking glass app is an excellent app to find uh, frequencies of different things. So let's just uh, go through this app first and then we will see how to find the frequencies of these uh, things. So over here you can see different options. So let me go through these options one by one so that you have a better idea of how looking glass app works and then you can use uh, looking glass app uh, to find the frequency of uh, not only for radio devices but you can also find frequencies of ham radio and other aviations and all those things uh, by using looking glass. So let's just go through all the options. So over here you can see min and max. So min and max is a frequency uh, which is covered by this waterfall graph. So starting is 260 megahertz. So this waterfall graph is starting from 260 megahertz and it's ending on 500 megahertz. So it's covering the range of 240. So the difference of 260 and 500 it's 240 megahertz. So, the, so this waterfall graph is covering 240 uh, mega uh, 240 megahertz of range right so this is what min max and range is now let's just come through on lna and vga so lna is a low noise amplifier and it's like a high quality microphone to pick up a quiet sound so this is a simple definition and then there is vga which stands for variable gain amplifier and it's like and it, it's like a volume on your headphone to control how loud you hear the sound pick up by the microphone. So this is what LNA and VGA is. So we always use the combination of LNA and VGA, right? Then there is a filter. So we can turn on the filter uh, to, you know, just see the strong frequencies. So over here right now the filter is high. So we, you, you will only see the frequen frequencies which are strong right we can also make it mid and we can turn it off so let me just turn it off for now and then there is preset so preset is an excellent thing let me show you what preset is so over here right now you are seeing the preset of uh, 315 and 433 megahertz uh, which is for key pops over here you can see key pops so right now we are looking at the uh, waterfall graph of key pops only but you can change this preset to ham radios as well over here you can see uh, right now we are uh, looking at ham radio and over here you can see it has changed the minimum and maximum range of frequency as well so uh, these are all different ham radios uh, you can go through uh, fm broadcast as well there is aviation as well you can make it manual as well uh, for different things and you can also see full range of graph then there is SHF, VHF, UHF. So all uh, all the presets are set over here uh, for Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, water meters, pagers. So all these things are over here. So you can use uh, looking uh, glass app for all these things, right? So let me just uh, come on key fob. So over here you can see key fob. And then there is marker. So we can move this red marker over here. You can see this red marker uh, to our desired frequency. Whenever we will receive some frequency, we can check that frequency by moving that marker or to check the uh, exact frequency. What is the exact frequency, right? So this is what this marker is. Then there is resolution to, to change the resolution of uh, the graph. And then there is a step uh, and then there is Spectre beam. So right now you are seeing a waterfall graph in looking glass app, uh, which of course uh, it is a very good uh, graph. It's an excellent graph. I should say you can see all these things, but uh, there is other other graphs as well. So there is level graph. So in level graph, you will see the peaks of strong frequencies, right? And the peak will vanish, right? So over here you can see different peaks and then there is peak graph as well. So in what is the difference between level graph and peak graph? So in peak graph, whenever there is a peak, it will be recorded and it will keep it on the on the graph. It's not going to vanish, right? 
so it will keep it over here so this is what peak graph is uh, until you reset right so if you will reset it will again uh, remove the peak and again whenever the peak will receive it will again uh, make it on the graph and then there is so these are two uh, graph level graph and peak graph in looking glass but we will uh, keep it on waterfall graph because uh, it's a easy graph and it's very convenient to see all these frequencies easily right so this is what uh, looking glass app is and all these uh, options in looking glass so you have to go through these options uh, again and again to master these options uh, so let's just start and let's just see how to find different frequencies so we will start uh, with our uh, uh, wireless switch so let's just uh, turn on uh, uh, the wireless switch so over here you can notice there is a frequency right so let me do it one more time let's go close and over here you can see again there is a frequency see so let me move my marker over here on this frequency uh, which is around 433 i suppose yes and uh, if you are uh, sure that your uh, device lies on 433 megahertz you can change uh, the preset to 433 as well so let me just go to uh, 433 to show you uh, the exact uh, frequency so over here you can see when i when i'm pressing the button you will see the frequency see and let me turn it off see turn on turn off so let me move my graph to this frequency turn on turn off turn on turn off so it's around uh, 433.9375 see so we can lock this frequency right so we all we have to do is we just have to press this middle button and this frequency frequency will be locked and it will uh, bring us in our uh, audio app so let's just uh, see this frequency in audio app as well see so this is the exact frequency of this wireless switch now let me just again go through in looking glass and let me change the band to preset to uh, 433 uh, 315 to 433 megahertz and let's just try to find the frequency of this wireless doorbell so let's just let me just press and over here you can see the frequency let me do it one more time see so let's just move our graph to this frequency which is around uh, 433.1235 see so let's just lock this frequency and uh, let's just let's just try to uh, press the button one more time and over here you can see the frequency so see this is how we can find the frequency of different things so let's just go on uh, looking glass app again and let's just try to find the frequency of our wireless uh, key as well so let me press uh, the key so over here you can see the frequency see of wireless key so it's around uh, 315 somewhere so let me just move my marker over here see so it's around 312.3125 so let's just lock this frequency again and uh, let's just try to uh, press the button again so we have to adjust the frequency a bit so let's just adjust 
and over here you can see the frequency of our wireless switch as well sorry the frequency of our car key as well so over here you can see so it's around 312.3725 so this is how we can find frequency of different uh, devices uh, like uh, wireless switch wireless key and all other devices as well uh, using looking glass in our next video we are going to see how we can do capture and replay attack on these devices